Hello everybody, and today I will be showing you how to make a clicker simulator, an advanced clicking simulator game, uh, part two. So the first thing that we are going to do is take the clicks background and just delete that and move this over to like 25 away from the side and then change the background color to this we're going to click the plus and add a text label and then what we're going to do for this text label is change the change the size to 50 comma 35 and then we're going to change the position to point 375 comma negative 50 or negative 0 0.5 and then we're going to change the background color or to the background transparency to 1 and then scale to true and then stroke color to white and then stroke transparency to zero and then font to Fredoka one and then text to clicks and now we have that right there so I want to you click this it'll go up in it is more obvious that it's your clicks the next thing we're going to do is add in a image button And what we're going to add to this, we're going to add UI corner. And we're going to change the size to 75, 0, 75, 0, 75. And we're going to put this down here. And then we're going to change the image to... A, I need to get an image, add image, and then you can find any image on the internet of a arrow on like a circle. Once we have that done, we can change the name to rebirth button, and then we can change the background color to blue. Now that we have that, we are going to add a frame and we are going to call it re Rebirth Frame and we're going to center this out. And the size of this Rebirth frame we're gonna change we're gonna change the size to 0 comma 750 to 0 comma 6 600 and we're gonna center this out and then we're gonna change the background color to blue and then we are going to duplicate this frame we're going to duplicate this frame by pressing ctrl d put the frame inside of it bring the frame up to 50 away from the bottom probably and scale it up to here and we are going to add roundify to our UI corner to both of these and we're gonna name this one top bar and 
we're gonna make sure that the top bar does not show at all. And the next thing we're gonna do is change the background color of this to this color, but a little bit less. And we're gonna we're gonna get a good blue color for that. Let's just use this and then add to custom colors. So now we have that. And then inside of the top bar, we're going to have add a text button. Name that text button close. And then move it all the way over here. And then change the size to 50 comma 50. Bring it back over here change the text to X, change text scale to true, change the font to Fredoka1, then change the background color to red, and then add a UI corner into this, and then change the uh, corner radius zero to zero comma 100, and take this button and just drag it up onto the corner right here. And now you have a close button. And now what we're gonna do is add a script into rebirth button. And in that script we're gonna put script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then I do script dot parent dot parent dot rebirth rebirth frame dot visible equals true and now if we go into the top bar and add a local script into there we can change the we can take this exact script and put it in here and change this to false and change it and get rid of the rebirth frame. So it's script dot parent dot parent, and then one more one more parent. Script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot visible equals false. So now if we take the rebirth frame and change the visible to false, and play. Okay, now that we're in, whenever we click, our clicks go up, and then whenever we click this, the rebirth frame comes up, and then we can close it. And yeah, so the next thing we are going to do is make this visible again. And what we're going to do is inside of the rebirth frame, we're going to add a scrolling frame and change the background transparency to 1 and we're going to take this scrolling frame and we're going to make it cover up the entire thing pretty much we're just going to go around 50 away from the top and bottom right there and right there and then 50 away from both of these
and then we're going to add in a a text button and call this rebirth button one and then inside of scrolling frame we're going to add a ui list layout And what we're going to do with this is scale this guy all the way out to here and change the text to one rebirth, one rebirth, and then this, and then 100. 100 clicks and then we're going to turn scaled on and then change the font to Fredoka 1 and change the back change the background color to this so now we have a rebirth button right there and what we're going to do with that rebirth button is insert a local script. We're gonna do script.parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then we're gonna do local player equals game dot players dot local player and we're gonna do local clicks equals player dot reader stats dot clicks and then local rebirths equals player dot reader reader stats dot rebirth then we're gonna do if clicks dot value is greater than or equal to 100 then rebirth dot value equals rebirths dot value plus one and then we need to not have a space in between not have a space in between there and then do clicks dot value equals zero now we can go in here and change the rebirth frame visible to false and then play the game And then if we open this up, we can't rebirth. But if we get to 100 clicks and press rebirth, it resets our clicks and gives us, gives us plus one rebirths. And it just keeps doing that over and over. That is going to be it for today's video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And yes, there will be more episodes of this series coming soon. I will try to release them once every day. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Hey,